Hello Libra and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your monthly message for January 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. And if you're returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this month, I'm going to use the Good Tarot, Colette Baron reed And I'll just remind you that these are general messages, so they may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, I would encourage you to check out your moon and rising sign. Okay, I've already given them a good shuffle, so we'll get straight to it. Ooh. So it's a four card spread that I'm going to do, Libra. And your first card is the overall energy or mood of the month. Followed by your challenge. Followed by the unexpected or the surprise for the month. And then ending with the outcome. Okay, so what is the message for Libra? For January 2018. There are no reverse messages with these cards, guys. I think that's why it's called the Good Tarot. Okay. If we can get one more, what is the message for Libra for January 2018? Okay, Ooh, that's a nice outcome card, guys. So, in your position of the overall mood for the month, fabulous, you get the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles, your challenge is the Queen of Water, Queen of Cups. Oh, your unexpected or your surprise for the month, Major Arcana number six, Love, or the Lover's card. And in the position of the outcome, you have the wonderful Two of Water, Two of Cups. Okay, Libra, your first card. In the position of the overall energy of the month, you get the wonderful Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles. This is you guys having reached an ideal. You've, some of you have really put some real effort in on your, on creating a real outer world for yourselves. And some of you have really achieved it. And with this card, we, we kind of get the impression of the keystone being dropped into place there. And we see the lady holding her flower. She has a mask on, so that's indicating that you've, you've really meditated a lot. You've used your inner wisdom to create your outer world. And with nine, we can also see this is a, a completion, the completion of a cycle. Because 10 is next and 10 is um, an ending and a beginning. So my feeling is for your overall energy or mood of the month Libra is you are feeling really self-satisfied. You are in a good financial abundant place. Next guys you get the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Water. Queens are collectively cups. So this is a very, very emotional card. And it is coming the position of your challenge, Libra. Getting a hold of your emotions and finding a balance. This Queen has... Well, her secret for you, Libra, is she has learned self-love. This queen, she's mature, she's meditated a lot. She has, she understands her feminine energy, she understands motherhood, she understands compassion. She's a nurturer, she has a complete awareness of of how to create the world that she would like for herself, that she wants and desires for herself. 
but she's done it because she's learned to love herself first that's the only way guys to open your heart and give to others it's the only way that you're any good to anyone else is if you love yourself first okay libra in your position of the unexpected surprise for the month you get number six the love card Libra this is you guys this is complete surrender some of you this is real real love real genuine love this could be it's a Gemini card so this could be a Gemini maybe you've fallen in love with a Gemini or a Gemini has designs on you but coming in the position of the unexpected surprise after your challenge I'm feeling guys that this is you understanding about love understanding that love is the key the key to the universe the key to fulfillment the key to your heart oh okay okay Libra in the position of the outcome you get the two of cups the two of water this is you guys experiencing love this is some of you are really experiencing a relationship this is could be coming after this love card this could be you and the Gemini really experiencing all the emotions that that love has to offer this is also a choice that you've made you have chosen this guys you've chosen it you want to experience it and you've plunged in and like the two goldfish you are really experiencing this emotion Oh Libra, okay, let's recap. Your overall energy and mood of the month is one of abundance. This could even be an inheritance, guys, coming to some of you. Some of you could even have a lottery win. Or your career has really lifted off. But this is real abundance in the real world. Materialism in the real world. Real, a real ideal that you have reached and your challenge for the month Libra is to really find that balance find that harmony find that key of self-love love yourself first guys love yourself first to be able to give to others because your unexpected surprise of the month guys is love this, as I've said, could be love from a Gemini or to a Gemini, but it is real, real love, real heartfelt love, total, total surrender, total fulfilment, a real, oh, commitment, guys. Some of you are making a commitment in January. You're learning to love yourself. You're in a real good place in the world you're feeling abundant you're feeling you're feeling rich as a person you're going to <clears throat> you're going to really learn to love yourselves Libra this is opening the door for love to come flooding in some of you are completely surrendering to love and you are going to make an absolute commitment and I see some of you really enjoying this relationship you are really going to experience this relationship in january 2018 a real absolute wonderful outcome for you libra thank you so much for joining me thank you for all your likes your shares your views your comments and subscribers welcome to my new subscribers and thank you thank you all for your support I do hope Libra 
that you will join me again next month that all looks good for this month so let me know how you get on i hope you enjoyed the the format and until february my friends goodbye